Can you use an OBD2 scanner on an OBD1 car? Welcome to another episode of Car Tech Talk. Today, we're going to answer a common question. Can you use an OBD2 scanner on an OBD1 car? What are OBD1 and OBD2? First, let's get some background information on these terms. Onboard Diagnostics OBD, is a system that allows you to access the diagnostic information of your car. It's essential for identifying issues and maintaining your vehicle. There are two main types of OBD systems, OBD-1, the first generation system that was introduced in the 1980s. It's specific to each car manufacturer, meaning it lacks standardization. OBD-2, the second generation system introduced in the 1990s. It's a universal standard, which means it's compatible with most cars manufactured from 1996 onwards. Can you use an OBD-2 scanner on an OBD-1 car? Now, let's answer the main question. In short, no, you cannot use an OBD-2 scanner on an OBD-1 car. This is because the two systems are fundamentally different, with OBD-1 being specific to each manufacturer and OBD-2 being a universal standard. Is there any way to use an OBD-2 scanner on an OBD-1 car? While you can't directly use an OBD-2 scanner on an OBD-1 car, there are OBD-1 to OBD-2 adapters available in the market. These adapters can help bridge the gap between the two systems, allowing you to use an OBD-2 scanner on an OBD-1 car. However, keep in mind that the functionality and features may be limited compared to a native OBD-2 system. What should you do if you have an OBD-1 car? If you have an OBD-1 car and need to access its diagnostic information, you'll need an OBD-1 scanner specifically designed for your vehicle's make and model. These scanners can be more challenging to find and may be more expensive, but they'll provide the accurate diagnostic information you need for your OBD-1 car. To sum up, you cannot use an OBD-2 scanner on an OBD-1 car without the help of an adapter. If you own an OBD-1 car, it's best to invest in an OBD-1 scanner specifically designed for your vehicle. That's it for today's episode of Car Tech Talk. If you have any more questions or need further information, please feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more helpful car tech tips.